all of you hope you guys are great so in this nft marketplace we have used infura but recently infura have changed their policy so if you are using their free tier you're not able to use the infura platform for deploying your nft to the ipfs instead of infura we're going to use pinata for deploying our nft and that way you don't need to fill out your credit card detail or purchase their plan so here i'm into my infura dashboard and you can see that i have already created a couple of projects one project is the paid one and the other is the free one but i cannot able to use the other project because right now infura have changed the policy so in your case if you have a fresh account you can simply come here and click on this create new api key it's going to give you this two model web3 api or ipfs right now it says disable so you can simply click here and you can able to read that what that the changes they're going to make it because right now you're not able to use it first change they have made that you have to provide the credit card then you can use it but right now they want you to buy their service then you can use the ipfs and many of you don't like to buy or provide your credit card details so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the entire system so in this nft marketplace we have used infura so right now infura is not working and many of you are not able to use it because you are not want to upgrade your account so we have to make only two changes in our two functions and we can easily able to update it and use pinata so i already made a video on pinata so we're going to use pinata instead of infura and i already made a tutorial that how you can use pinata to upload your nft in two or three projects like uh, social media real estate or nft api and that i've explained about the entire pinata so you can watch this video but i will show you how to, what are the changes you have to do so i can open my code so i want you to come and you can simply follow the entire playlist so you can easily able to build this two code base this is the startup file and this is the final code or if you want to get the final code you can simply come back to the blockchain coder go to the source code section and from here you can download the updated code with all the code you can simply click and download that i can come back here and this is the code which in which i have done the update so you can see updated code without infura now let's talk about the changes you have to do before actually run this application so here I have to come back first in my context because there we have to do the changes. Go back to the context, NFT marketplace context, click here, click here. And now you have to simply scroll all the way down. So you can see here we have this two function. So this is called fetch. We have already built that together in the playlist. Now the only changes you have to do is let me close all of this function. Otherwise it looks quite big. Close this one. And this is the connect wallet function we have. I want you to follow the entire playlist that will teach you a lot of things that how to build an application. So this is the function we have called upload to Pinata. So if I take you back in the previous one. So first let me provide this otherwise it's going to close. And if I come back to the context and show you the previous code in the old code base, we have used Infura and we have done the configuration for the authentication and then we are uploading to the IPFS. But now we don't need to do that. All we have to do is to modify our upload function. So if you come back here in the upload function, so this is the old word upload in that we are simply providing the path of our image and it's uploading to the IPFS. But in the new one, what we have to do is here I have given the name upload to Pinata. And this is exactly what you have to do. So you can see this is the old function called upload to Pinata. We are receiving the file. The same thing you have to do. We receive the file and check for a condition that we have the file and we have to provide this code. So first you have to take this form data. Then you have to append the file. So this time we are uploading the image. For that we have to call this particular endpoint. So api.pinata.cloud pin call pin file to IPFS means you are ready to upload the image data. And this is the API key and the secret key which you can use. I'll provide that in the final code or you can simply come back to the Pinata and you can generate your own. So this is the API key and secret key. And all we are doing is simply creating the URL and that's what we are returning. So this is the very first function. So instead of going with this function in the old code base, you can simply, you can simply write, you can simply write this piece of code. That's the only thing you have to do. This is the first change you have to do in the upload to Pinata function. Once you're done with that, the second change you have to do in the create function. So if I come back here, here we have the old create function. In that we are receiving all of this data. Then we are throwing all of this error message. And here we are simply converting into a JSON. And then we are simply passing our to the Infura endpoint. But instead of going with this approach, we have to go with this approach because we are using Pinata this time. So this is going to be the exactly same. We are getting the data, then we are converting that into a JSON file. It's going to be in a URL string. 
Once you have the data, this time this is the endpoint you have to call. Pin JSON to IPFS. So this is the endpoint you have to call. This is the post method. And this is the exact API key and the secret key you have to provide. It's going to return you the URL. And that's URL you have to pass here into this function. It will automatically call the contract and it will call the internal function. So this is the only changes you have to do. This is the only changes you have to do in the create NFT and in the upload NFT. So once you're done with these two changes, now you have to come back in the Next.js config file. And here you have to do the changes or you can leave it as it is. It's not going to create any problem. The one thing I want to tell you that wherever you are using the image tag of Next.js, you have to simply comment that and use normal tag. For example, in the final code, I have done the update. So if I take you to the component, inside the component, we have the card NFT card component. Inside that we have all of this component. So if I bring it down here, so here you can see that we have used this image, normal image tag instead of going with the, so you have to simply replace this Next.js image tag with the normal image tag because we are using the global approach for being on the safer side. So make sure to use the normal image tag whenever you are getting data from the contract or from the IPFS. So it should be better to use it with the Next.js tag or if you are going with the static image means you are reading the image from your folders or like from the image folder or from the public folder, you can simply use that Next.js image tag that would work fine. But I would suggest you to use the this particular image tag for being at the safer side. Once you're done with these changes, first changes you have to do in this two function update this two function then second changes you have to remove all the next.js image tag with the normal image tag once you're done with that close that one close that one we are done with these two updates now what i'm going to do is i am going to simply deploy the contract so this particular contract you can see i have already deployed the contract you can see i have already deployed the contract and i have updated the address here so all of these two contract is deployed to the polygon if i show you the hard at script so here I have used Polygon for deploying my contract because it's easy to get free Maticoin rather than getting Gorilla or any other networks. So all you have to do is to provide your private key, wallet private key and simply deploy the contract, which I have explained number of time in multiple videos. So once you're done with that, you can deploy the contract or you can simply go with the same contract which I have deployed because I have already created a couple of nft on that contract so you can have a look from your end so let me show you so once you will get this final code once you will download the final code you will have all of these three folder make sure to get into this particular folder so what i will do i'll click select this one i'll click on this rename and i'm going to copy this particular text once i do that i'll simply open my terminal and i'm going to simply so first we have to get into the folder simply type cd and give the name and hit enter so we are into this particular folder and now we have to install all of these packages so to install all we have to type npm i and hit enter this will take few seconds because we have a lot of packages to install and it's some of them are very heavy like this drops in web3 model we have a lot of packages so these are the packages we have to install you can see finally we have installed and this is the exact step you have to follow so what are the steps you have to do first you have to modify the true function then remove all the image next is image tag then get into this particular folder and install the packages once you're done with that I would recommend you to simply test the contract which I have already deployed and I have already created a couple of NFT. Or if you want to go with a different contract address, simply deploy the contract one more time and simply paste the address here. Paste the address here and it will work fine. So we have successfully done the installation part. Now let me simply clear the terminal and I have to start the application. So if I come back here in the package JSON file, you can see this is the script I have to run dev so simply type npm run dev hit enter it's going to start the application on localhost 3000 and finally the applications looks pretty fine now what i will do i'll come back in the browser and make sure to get the final source code where i have done all these updates already now i'll click here and i can simply click on this localhost and it's going to open the application now you can see i'm already opening the application on my browser and everything looks pretty fine i have already created one nft so you can see this is the one user have the total fund and this is the two nft we have created if i scroll down here here we have the nft so these are the nft this is the course i hope you guys have heard about this particular course which i have launched and that we're going to build the most advanced nft marketplace with tons of features so again watch this video that will teach you a lot of things now come back here these are the two NFT I have created. If I click on this, I can able to come back here and you can see I have all of this data which I'm getting. I can simply check. So I'm already connected with the network. 
not connected that's why i can see that i have to say connect click on connect is going to open the penta bus i can pass my password hit enter and here i am connected now i can click on this create and it's going to take me to the create page and i can simply create now let's create the nft so let me click here and let me go to this so we have this three images i can click this one image three and i can call it monster buddy and as a monster buddy you can call whatever you want you can see we have successfully fetched the information this is the nft you can give the website url i'll give this random string i can give the text so copy this one i can give the text and uh, you can select any different category i can give the one 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 and let me set the price to very low so i'll say zero 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 one because i don't have much fun and i can simply click on this upload and just wait it's going to open the metamask soon and it's here it's the metamask we are charging this much as a fee you can simply update your fee is totally up to you which i have explained extensively in the playlist so make sure to watch the playlist click on confirm and this one is going to make the transaction here you can see the transaction is happening just wait it will soon create the nft and it will list to the marketplace so the transaction is confirmed and here we are redirected to the search page and here you will find the nft we have created so here it's loading and here we got our nft back so this is the nft we have created no not this one this is the nft we have created you can simply click it will take you here and you can able to have all this information so this one is working absolutely fine i hope you guys have understood that what are the changes you have to do in the code base these are the pretty simple thing and i believe that you guys have understood now that what are the changes you have to do first you have to do the changes in the two function then you have to remove all the next js image tag then you can simply upload the contract to the any network and simply provide your contract address right here in the context file or you can simply test the application first with this particular contract which have already deployed and created couple of nft which you can see right up here and everything would be working fine so you can see we have no more error everything is looking absolutely fine and this is the exact step you can follow if you don't want to use the upgrade and take the pro membership of the infura for creating your nft marketplace you can use pinata which is absolutely free no credit card requirement and watch the video that what exactly you're going to build in this particular course with that, I'm ending this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.